We're gonna continue on with how to condition the body shapes so they're strong enough when we start to do the kip cast handstands. Lily's gonna get up, and we do this with, if you notice, the parallettes right now are facing forward, and the ribs are in. This is much easier, but it's a good way to teach them to begin to use their wrists to maintain the balance of the handstand. Now, Lily's gonna turn them in a regular handstand shape, which is much more challenging because you have less space to balance with. Press the ribs in, flatten the hips, constantly working their shapes. Hold the shape. You notice down at the wrists again, you see her wrists flexing, moving to try to help balance her shape while she continues to extend upward. Ribs stay in, hips stay flat. Very nice. All right. This right here is one of my favorite stations here. We call it the bounce handstand, and it's a very active shaping exercise. They have to drop in the right shape, and they have to maintain it on the way up, or the ball does not bounce. We usually do these in sets of 10. Hit my hand. There you go. All right, good job. All right, Grace is gonna show you from the trainer, the bounce trainer, how to do repetitions where they have to, again, use their wrists and their body shape. Shoulders on top of wrists, hips on top of shoulders. Now she's gonna show you the same exercise for the straddle cast to handstand. Again, concentrating on keeping her shoulders on top of her wrists and then getting her hips on top. Very nice, Grace. 